Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to play Nintendo 3DS games on your computer, Linux, on your, on your computer, either Windows, Linux, or Mac, and it says here. Um, now, one thing to know before doing this is that this is still in development, and this is not going to be perfect um, by any sense of the mean. It is getting better, of course, and you keep updating the software, but it's going to sometimes be a bit slow and lag here or there. So what you're want, going to want to do is go to citraemu.org um, and uh, very simply just download um, the program. And this is your 3DS emulator. Like you have Game Boy Advance emulators or just normal DS emulators, you have 3DS emulators. So you can get a nightly build or bleeding edge build, um, whichever one you prefer really. So you're going to want to download this and install it. Uh, and which will look like here. I've got a bleeding edge build. Uh, no. So etc. And it'll open up like this. Now you won't have um, the game here, but it will just look very similar to this. Maybe full screen, maybe not black, but it'll be you know very similar. So you're gonna what you're gonna want to do is then go to the game section that's here and scroll through all the different pages of games that they have, and you're gonna choose the one you want. So for example, I chose Pokemon Sun and Moon. You can do. Um, Steam will dig if you wanted to, and you know download this. And of course, you can either find other ones online because they're just .3ds files. On the other hand, if you don't want to download it from this website, if you have a custom firmware installed on your DS, um, you can sometimes do a like dump the game files into a .3ds file and transfer over to um, your computer to then play as well. Um, that is an option. But if you haven't got custom firmware, this is probably your best bet to try and download. Um, the sort of legitimate games that aren't have viruses on them. So you're going to want to download that as well. Bear in mind they can be massive files. For example, as you saw, Pokemon Sun is three gigabytes. So you're going to want to do that, and you're going to want to then do file, load file, and go to wherever you've saved your dot 3ds, which is here. And very simply, then you can just run the game. Now, as you can see, it's very laggy, and there's some things you can do to stop that, because it's, you know, certain games, of course, are going to be less laggy than others, and some are going to be smoother than others. Um, ways to help that is if you go to configure, is you can start changing certain things here. One thing you're going to want to go to do is internal resolution, or you're going to want to do uh, limit frame rate, or you can not do limit frame rate. Don't have enable vSync, because that can screw with things but you're going to want to change the native. So what this does is, is the reason why you can see sometimes some really beautifully looking um, Pokemon games online or people playing these 3DS games is because they use this and they can ramp it up to nine times native, let's just say. If I play the game, I'll show the sound down. Um, what will happen is, is they'll look absolutely incredible. Now also, I also have a mod installed and it can or show you 33 frames per second. Um, and anything more than 30 frames per second is uh, an imitation, really. It gets scaled down, but you can see speed uh, is 57%. And you can see here, 9 times resolution, you will not be able to see any of the pixels because it does a fantastic job at scaling. Now, of course, when you um, certain things, you will still be able to see the pixels and that just is going to happen because they can't scale perfectly but um, that's a way to then if you have a high end computer you can scale it and, other, and lower end you may want to dial it down to just say native let's just see native and it's, uh, the game runs much smoother and that's just what's going to happen but that's basically the native resolution of a DS which as you can see <laughs> isn't particularly high um, well, thank you very much for watching uh, how to play 3DS games on your computer. Please like, rate, subscribe, or share with your friends, or click the subscribe button on the screen here. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.